What's up guys, Jake and Chris here for Dude Ranch DIY. We are at the Cheesecake Factory, as I like to call it, which is Chris's house. Yep. Cheese is his nickname at work. Uh, explain to him what we're gonna be doing here, Chris. So we got a uh, hot tub area over here. It used to be the front yard, now we made it the side yard. Um, we have an existing patio I want to extend. So we're gonna cut in here where this lily is, out into the chips and up to the hot tub down about eight inches so that we can backfill with uh, with gravel and sand, start laying some stone. So Jake is here with the core midi today and uh, he's gonna be showing you what else it can do other than tree work. Yeah, so I was just telling Chris, I brought the bucket today, the tooth bucket, and believe it or not, this is the first time since I got the grapple for the core midi that the bucket has been back on it because I just really don't do that much dirt work and I just used the grapple actually for a bunch of somewhat dirt work in the other side of Chris's house, which I will show you. I messed up. I thought we were just gonna be moving a couple logs to make um, some room for his truck to get back there, but it turned into quite a project and the results were pretty amazing. It, it looked pretty good for the amount of time that we spent back there, but I was using the grapple. So now we got the bucket on and we're gonna strip some topsoil and do a little leveling and we'll, we'll put to test my dirt work skills. I, I know I'm pretty good with the grapple, but the bucket is uh, un, unventured territory. So I know it's kind of hard to tell, but this whole thing is sloped this way. And essentially what we need done here is Chris wants this whole area kind of down eight inches from this patio uh, where the hot tub is. Now this right here where the grass is brown is kind of a low spot and then it goes back up towards the patio. So this is pretty much gonna be final grade, um, except, you know, for the exception of the topsoil that we're gonna strip out of here. But the majority of the dirt is gonna be on this little berm, like hill thing here that we're gonna have to cut out and move. Um, so we're gonna see how the Cormidi does digging dirt. I have a feeling it's gonna do just fine. Um, and we're gonna put this tooth bucket to the test. guys so Chris is full this is what we've stripped so far the tooth bucket on the Cormidi is doing a great job so we're gonna go back where he's gonna dump and I'm gonna show you guys what we did before the little land clearing with the grapple so this is where we're going with the truck oh watch it we got a chair So he's gonna be coming straight back here, which is where we just helped him clear out. As you can see, we've dumped some wood here in the past and chips. Mom back. This is what we just cleared out. It was all overgrown. You can see I just pushed stuff with the Cormidi back. Really should have filmed it, but like I said, did not know that we were gonna be going this wild with it. And uh, yeah, so now he has super easy access, plenty of room behind his chicken coop here to get his truck and dump dirt for Phil, just like he's gonna be doing right now. Here we go, just like that. He's got a couple chickens in here, just a few. I think he's up to like 23 or something like that. That's Rodney the rooster. Always causing trouble and making noise.
Okay guys, while Chris is going to dump that third load, you can see we've been making progress for two guys that don't know anything about moving dirt really. Um, I think it's coming out pretty good. Um, I have been trying to, okay, so in the beginning I was using the bucket in the float mode um, and just controlling the angle of the bucket to try and strip off the topsoil which and and the grass the sod which which works really well and then as i was learning as i go um i had to stop using it um and and just put it in the regular mode that way i could kind of dig into this area that kind of the hump um so i'm slowly starting to get it all to grade but then i realized and i remembered something that mike morgan um, says in a lot of his videos that you're never going to be level unless you start off level. Otherwise, you're just constantly going to be on that same grade, you know, even if your bucket's level. So then I turned the machine around and I started pushing this back a little bit farther. He really only wants this area to be up till the fence post. But, um, you know, the, the problem I was having is that I was starting out on one grade and then kind of dipping down with the machine into this area here. So I had to push it back a little bit. That way I gave myself about a machine's length of room to start out level. And that way I could come in and start going, you know, closer up to the hot tub. Now, Chris has been hard at work getting up in between these fence posts where I can't get with the machine. Um, and he's going back down along the little patio where the hot tub currently is. He dug out as deep as he wants it up against the hot tub. So I'm gonna keep going here once he comes back with the truck and uh, we're just gonna keep going. I actually think it would be to my benefit to push this area back even a little bit farther. That way I can fully sit on a level surface and then start you know, each each track or or tear or rip or whatever you want to call it each time i come back down this way I'll, I'll start level that way uh it'll be level the whole way along but the cormidi so far has been doing awesome the teeth on this bucket what a difference um compared to the tractor uh the, the teeth really help digging stuff up and uh as you guys might have heard one of my complaints about the cormidi is that it doesn't have a cup holder so I was able to take the cup holder off my ATV and it moves all around and everything. And I've had my cup holder in here the whole time. So you can see, got a couple uh, stickers on, on this cup here and uh, it's been working great. It hasn't fallen out once, even though I've been jostling around and uh, problem solved as far as the cup holder front. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep going here. seven eight inches yeah as, let's see here it seems from the uh existing slab there's some high spots some low spots we're running into some rocks and some roots uh, yeah i think uh, in general the center spot is a little bit low but that's all right but, you know just a little bit more gravel to fill in and get the gravel all nice and level throw it on some some sand make that nice and level 
add the rocks. Nobody even knows what Jake did. Yeah, it'll be it'll be perfect. All of my destruction will be hidden by nice rocks and pavers. Oh, yeah. All these pavers that he has here, Re recycled bluestone here. So uh, as per usual, the Cormitty surprised and wowed me. Um, did a great job here. Um, as I also said, Chris and I have never really done much dirt work before, so this was kind of new. So anybody that has a lot of experience doing this, please uh, give me feedback in the comment section below. Um, I was trying to take all the tips and tricks that I've learned from Let's Dig channel and Outdoors with the Morgans and Andrew Camerata, all those different channels that do a lot of this kind of stuff. I do not, I stick with the, with the wood, but uh, all in all, I think it looks pretty good. So, so that's gonna be a wrap for this one, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Um, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get 500 more subscribers, hit 3,000. Be great if we could do that within the next two months. Uh, if you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Uh, questions, comments, feedback, put it in the comment section below. I'm Jake. I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.